Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. Ten more minutes, going to keep building action. Look at that people, I got my rudder on my vertical stab last night. I made a video last night when I pulled one of my old time dumb thumbs and it didn't get posted. Sorry about that. I was just but I got my servo in there. Got it all hooked up. Now, oh, something else came in yesterday. I got my receiver. So this is the JR. 1222 and uh, it's the power safe setup and man they like them things look at the price of that <laughs> but uh, this is the power safe system people we are going with nothing but the best on this thing we got 8711 servos and uh, power safe system I'm going to show you the difference them are two battery leads right there, okay? Then plug directly into this A123 battery. No switch in the middle. You see that? No switch. Direct link. Now this receiver has a built-in diode, okay? If one of them packs, this is actually two separate battery packs, okay? They're just, uh, he just put them together in a square. That's battery one, that's battery two. These are the balancing charge jacks. Battery one, battery two. He's got them marked. Okay? But if one of these should happen to drop a cell, if this receiver has a diode in it that will not let it discharge the other battery. Okay? Now, to turn this, turn everything on and off, we just got this switch right here. Probably going to put one of them pull pins on it. I got one. And uh, it's just got two wires. You see that? Just two wires. This is a fail on switch. Okay? If you unplug this switch, this receiver stays on. You can smash this switch with a hammer and the receiver will stay on. Okay? This is a fail on switch. So you ain't got to worry about a switch going bad and losing the airplane. And uh, also with this fail-safe unit, you get four satellite receivers instead of just three on the regular 12 channel, two on some of the nines. That's got four satellite receivers. Now for you people that don't know what these do, see they got different length. Oh, everything's all tangled. <laughs> they got different length wires on them, okay? You put these satellite receivers throughout the airplane see that one's got a long cord on it this one's got a short one and uh, these receivers don't go through thick carbon they'll go through thin carbon one layer of carbon these will go through it's the real thick carbon and uh, metal they don't go through metal so you position these throughout the airplane and, uh, where's my other deal? You position them throughout the airplane, and, uh, okay. you position these without the, throughout the airplane, these satellite receivers. Okay? Now, these receivers will get blocked off through the flight. You know, just for split seconds as it goes through the turbine and, just other areas that it, it won't penetrate through. This little thing here tells you how many hits each receiver has. Okay? And if you've got one receiver that's getting blacked out way more than the rest, you need to move that receiver. That's what this does. It's a pretty cool little setup, really. But, that's what I'm using. I just want to give you guys a heads up. For you guys that did not know. 
the difference between the power safe and the non-power safe. So we got about everything fail safe we can. I got fail safe on my landing gear, fail safe on the radio system. Put this wire in here. But today I'm going to get my shop cleaned up this morning. It is a pigsty in here. <laughs> you know, I go through a mad building spurt. I got to, you know, when you just go digging through all your stuff, I've already cleaned it up a little. <laughs> Everything I owned was on that bench. <laughs> That's just the way it is, I guess. You know, in that video last night, I actually hooked up the receiver. And, uh, but every now and then what it does is, instead of, I'll get a, I'll get a screen when, uh, it's done loading. Sometimes it says loads, loaded successfully, and, uh, and then, uh, sometimes it says, uh, failed to upload. I guess it failed to upload and I didn't know it. And I pulled the camera off and deleted the video. And next thing I know, there was no. We lost the video. Oh well. Okay, let's plug this bad boy in. I already got my elevators adjusted. I got my conduit ran in the back half. I'm pretty much done all the way up to the to the ducks. Okay, I've just got to uh, get that front part finished now. Get by the wing belt. The rest of this is so fast, people. This is almost done. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. There are a couple last week, two weeks ago, someone made a comment. That uh, it's just a never ending grind and there's no light at the end of the tunnel. I just did not see what that guy was talking about. That light's getting bigger and bigger and bigger to me, man. I see that freight train right in front of me, man. <laughs> this thing is almost done. Okay. Did not understand what that guy was talking about. I know this is a daily grind, but some of us love it, some of us don't. Okay. <laughs> I love this stuff, man. Okay. Two minutes left. We gotta hurry. Okay, now what we gotta do is just plug this thing in. Direct plug in. No switch in between that battery and receiver. I love that. Okay, turn her on. Okay, I gotta rebind the system. That's why it did that. When it when you turn on your radio and it does that, you gotta rebind it after you make any adjustments. I'm going to wait until I get this rudder adjusted. Hey, it's too much. Right. It's going to go through the sub trim. It's already on sub trim. Go to rudder. What's that? Get out of it. Let's go. Now we gotta take some of that throw out. That's got that 8711 in it, man. Travel adjustment. Rudder. Let's take that. 